Good morning to all of you. I want to thank you all for being here to share this experience and, and the first time excitement that goes along with the state high school basketball tournament occurring for the first time at Pinnacle Bank Arena. So everybody in the city is very excited about this whole uh, big deal and, and having the basketball tournament here. We have several guests today who will be speaking, and I want to introduce them from the very beginning. Uh, from the Nebraska School Activities Association, we have the Executive Director, Rhonda Blanford Green. Rhonda, welcome. Uh, from uh, SMG, our, our great partner here who operates the arena, Tom Lorenz is here. Raise your hand, Tom. Uh, Jeff Mall, who works tirelessly for us at the Convention uh, and Visitors Bureau, Jeff. And Ta Todd Ogden with the Downtown Lincoln Association uh, is here with us today. All right. Uh, I want to brag about the city a little bit and, and talk about all the new things going on in the city, especially those right here at and about the arena, but first of all, I, I just wanted to say a little bit about how emotional I feel personally about this high school basketball tournament and the fact that our friends and our relatives are coming in from all over the state to participate in these events. It's, uh, you know, Lincoln is a city that's made up from people over the generations from all these uh, small towns and, and from people coming in from the countryside. And almost all of us have aunts and uncles and grandparents out there. Not a, not a tournament goes by, then somebody doesn't say to me, Mayor, I knew your grandmother in Fall City or Dawson. So it's a great opportunity for everybody to renew the communal experience and, and togetherness. And I think it always behooves us to remember that when push comes to shove in this old world of ours, it's, it's these people who are brothers and sisters hand in hand uh, on, in a heartbeat on whatever we need to get done. So, and remember too that these folks coming in for this basketball tournament also help finance this arena. This was not just a Lincoln project, this was a state of Nebraska project. And even in our artwork, we recognize the fact that it's the whole state here. So having said that, it's been a year of historic firsts for the capital city. And, and uh, in addition to the new arena, our guests will be staying in new hotels eating in dozens of new restaurants, parking in new spaces, and enjoying amenities like the rail yard across the street here with the cube and the ice rink. It's always been a goal to make this area a destination where Nebraskans can enjoy and celebrate and make new memories. Attendance last year was almost 50,000 for the girls' tournament and 86,000 for the boys' tournament. So in addition to all the things that I've spoken of already and in addition to the great excitement, we all benefit from, in another important way. The tournaments have an average economic impact annual or for each tournament of $5.3 million in the city. And of course, the tournament is here for the next four years. So that's an important thing to remember. Tournament visitors are going to continue to see more and more changes as they come in over the next four years. Next year, they'll enjoy a more pedestrian and bike-friendly Inn Street. And the P Street retail corridor will be improved with vastly different new landscape. Uh, the iconic June Kaneko Tower and, and Civic Plaza will be completed. They'll witness the rebirth of Centennial Mall and the continuing transportation down Canopy Street of the historic West Haymarket area. In so many ways, 
the completion of Pinnacle Bank Arena is not the end of a project. Instead, it was the important first step as we continue to prepare the city of Lincoln for the future. We are also preparing the city for a sustainable future. Recycling is strongly encouraged at this arena, which is, in fact, one of the most sustainable energy efficient arenas in the country. The boys' tournament next week will include the debut, debut of a new campaign to highlight our recycling efforts. Crowds will be encouraged to experience a green arena. The initiative is the result of a co uh, collaboration among the Nebraska Environmental Trust, the UNL Athletic Department, SMG, and UNL's Yacht Ad Lab. Lab. Did I pronounce that right? All right. Lauren Andrews over here is, is representing uh, Yacht Ad Lab, and she brought some of the promotional items today so you could see what's going to be going on next week. So with that, I'd like to stop and invite uh, Rhonda and John, first of all, to make a few comments. Oh, thank you. Thank you. First of all, memories of a lifetime. That is what Pinnacle Arena will now do for our student participants, the communities across Nebraska. It will be part of the stories and the legacies that go on with all the other events that we've been able to incorporate into our state championships. On behalf of the NSAA Board of Directors, the NSAA membership and our staff, we want to say thank you. Thank you to the City of Lincoln, so many people were involved in making the next two weeks happen. First of all, thank you to the Lincoln CVB, the University of Nebraska, and more importantly, SMG, who embraced high school participation in athletics and made us feel like this was our home. I speak for many when I say what an honor it is for our students to play in one of the best facilities in the state of Nebraska, and I was told this morning, one of the best facilities in the Big Ten. So I don't have a lot of initiatives to go on with this, but I need you to know how excited we are to bring our basketball tournament to the Pinnacle Arena and the other great facilities in Lincoln. So thank you, and we look forward to a great two weeks of state basketball. My name is John Dolliver. I'm an assistant director with the Nebraska School Activities Association. Uh, my, my duty includes uh, administering this basketball championship, the, both the boys and the girls. Um, I would like to thank Tom Lorenz and his staff here at the Pinnacle Bank Arena uh, for all that they've done. Uh, people show up here on, on these weekends uh, and everything goes so smoothly uh, for them when they, when they do show up. Uh, but it takes a lot of work and a lot of planning and a lot of meetings to get to the point where we're at today. Um, and, and I would like to just publicly thank them. I'd like to thank uh, Jeff Maul and his staff at the Lincoln CVB. Uh, this is truly, like Rhonda said, a great opportunity for our high school athletes to come into this arena, into the city of Lincoln, uh, and, and participate uh, at, the, at the arena at the highest level. Um, there's a lot of buzz, a lot of excitement surrounding this event, uh, both this week and next week, and uh, we look forward to providing that opportunity for uh, the student athletes across Nebraska. Thank you. Good morning, my name's Tom Lorenz. I'm general manager of Pinnacle Bank Arena. On behalf of, on behalf of SMG, uh, we want to welcome NSAA here for the girls' state basketball tournament. We're looking forward to next week when we host the boys' state tournament. It's been an honor to represent the city and the joint public agency to be able to administer this wonderful arena. We've had a great amount of success with concerts and now with uh, NSAA and with UNL basketball. Today is the first of 40 games that we'll be doing this month. We'll be doing 36 NSAA games, another UNL basketball game where UNL men will play Wisconsin, and then three NCAA games. So it's a basketball-centric area. But the story isn't always about us, it's about the development across the street. It's about our great staff that's here and ready to serve the needs of the city. 
And again, we're just very, very grateful and thankful for uh, the ability to show this off to the entire state, have all our guests from all of uh, across Nebraska come and visit our arena, come experience this, and as Rhonda said, build those memories. So thank you so much, and we uh, hope you enjoy your stay. I'm bringing the microphone down a little bit here. Um, my name is Jeff Mall. I'm the executive director with the Convention and Visitors Bureau. And this is a huge time for us. Um, how many people we've walked, watch in, uh, walk in today, smiles on their face, looking around going, wow, look at how big this facility is. This is Lincoln. This was our vision. Um, this was Lincoln's vision to get Lincoln to where we are today. And I want to thank the staff of the NSAA, uh, their board of uh, directors, for believing in Lincoln, believing in putting the best facilities in front of their student athletes. And I truly think today we've done that. And uh, this event itself, as well as future state high school tournaments, will enjoy changing landscapes of facilities in Lincoln, our citywide welcome and tradition, as well as the new development in the Haymarket. And I wanted to touch, if I could, really quick on a few things that we've done as a Convention and Visitors Bureau. Um, we've worked tirelessly to get information out to the schools, uh, to the administrators and everybody across the state. Parking is easy. Get here early, enjoy the experience, and more importantly, enjoy the brand new rail yard and the tradition in our community. Um, we've done a pretty good job over the last three days getting out to all the marquee signs, the welcome signs in the community. If you have a digital sign or a signboard, putting up welcome state tournament fans. We want people to feel welcome when they're here. We have information tables at all of the sites, not only Pinnacle Bank Arena and Devaney, but also the Lincoln Public Schools. Uh, we will have our staff and these beautiful blue, uh, I don't know, pullovers at all of the sites. So if you have a question on what's going on in Lincoln, uh, definitely stop on up and, and say hi to us. Discounts at participating merchants. And more importantly, uh, we're going to serve up 300 plus pizzas over the next two weekends on Thursday night to all the athletes all of the coaches, all of the bus drivers, and we'll do that here at Pinnacle Bank Arena. It's our way of saying welcome and thank you for being in Lincoln. And again, if you need more information on us, what we're doing for the community, what you can find out more about state high school tournaments, lincoln.org and log on at nsaahome.org. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Todd Ogden, and I'm with the Downtown Lincoln Association. And again, we'd like to thank everybody involved with this and bringing everybody to the downtown and uh, with the mayor, the city, CVB, NSAA, inviting people to come downtown and experience what we have to offer. We know we're excited to have state basketball downtown um, at the arena in Devaney. And we know that the experience downtown and the experience of these games, if you go to these games, you know it's more than just a game. Whether you win or lose, we want everybody to have an experience. And we feel downtown has a lot of different offerings to let you enhance your experience. We have over 150 restaurants downtown, over 75 places to shop and be entertained. Um, just we encourage everybody, you know, like I said, whether you win or lose, come downtown. Really, we want to invite you to experience everything that we have to offer. And we're just excited to uh, continue the tradition of um, boys and girls state basketball and move forward for years in the future. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Uh, we would be glad to open it up uh, for questions. Not the greatest environment. If we can hear your questions, we'll answer your questions. Are you okay? Uh, Andrew asked me how much Pinnacle Bank has exceeded my personal expectations as a sporting venue. Is that, is that your question? Well, you know, as much as I knew about the details of construction of the, of the uh, facility itself, I still didn't comprehend the exact shape and the way the bowl would, would confine and define the space and how people would fill that space. And I think it's turned out to be a marvelous environment. Uh, I understand on Facebook people are beginning to call it the vault. 
Uh, and it really does kind of describe not just the analogy to the bank, but the kind of sense you get when you walk into uh, the arena. And Wisconsin comes on Sunday, and I hope we shake all the pennies out of their pockets when they get here. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, thanks again. Thank you. Thank you.